Well, hello, it's my my again. I hope you're ready to explore the Bible with me. We're going to start in John chapter 4 again. We have to finish this chapter. It's a very exciting chapter. It talks about Jesus going to Samaria, where the people didn't love him. The Jews didn't love them. But yet he saw a lot of Samaritans get saved. And next we're going to find another man that came to Jesus. So we're going to skip down to verse 46. So John chapter 4 verse 46. Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. It's the fourth gospel. Okay. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. John chapter 4 verse 46. All right. And we're going to start reading. And it says... So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee. So he left Samaria and he went to Cana of Galilee. Do you remember what happened in the in Cana of Galilee? Hmm? That was where the very first miracle happened. I want you to remember that. Remember Cana of Galilee? Jesus changed the water into wine at the wedding. So... So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain noble man whose son was sick at Capernaum. Okay, Papa and I have been to Capernaum. It's amazing. Just had to throw that in there. It was exciting to be where where we've been and see the Bible firsthand and know that Jesus walked there. Okay, verse 47. When he heard that Jesus was come unto Judea into Galilee, he went unto him, and he asked him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. His son was dying, and this man ran all the way to see Jesus. Then Jesus said unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, you will not believe. He was asking the man, do you believe I can really heal your son? Hmm. Let's see if he did. And the noble man saith unto him, Sir, come down ere my son die. He said, if, please come down. He may be dead by now, but I need you to come and take care of him. I know you can heal him. This man believed Jesus could do it. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And it was a long journey, okay? So as he was going, it says in verse 51, And as he was now going down, his servant met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour so so this nobleman asked the servant what hour did he what hour did he get better what hour did he come back to life because at this point we think this boy had really died he says what hour um let's see in verse 52 what hour when he began to amend how when did he start getting better and they said unto him yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed in his whole house. So the man knew exactly when it had happened, that his son got better exactly when he trusted Jesus Christ to save his little boy and make him better. So the father knew that it was at the same hour, and the son liveth. Now, verse 40, 54, excuse me. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. Isn't that cool? I think it's so amazing that God, here, you know, there were a lot of people back then that were sick. A lot of people, they didn't have modern medicine. They didn't have all that, you know, they didn't have the drug stores where they could go and get Tylenol to bring a fever down. They didn't have all of that. And there were so many people that were sick, and yet God took care of individuals. He took care of certain people, people that trusted him. This man came all the way to find Jesus, and he believed Jesus, and Jesus saved his son. We serve an amazingly powerful God, 
and he is very concerned with every single one of us. Today, you might want to remember, hmm, let's see, I've got to think of the question. You might want to remember, hmm, just remember all about it. Where was Jesus when this happened? Hmm, do you remember? It was the second miracle at this place. Just in case. All right. Love you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.